Building relationships one cup of Joe at a time. That's the motto in Monroe County. Tomorrow morning, our Jordan Talley joins us in the studio now to show us how Coffee with a Cop is bonding officers and people there in town. Locals and law enforcement will have the chance to spend time together over coffee and breakfast at a local shop in Aberdeen. It's the second Coffee with a Cop this year, but this time it's being put on by the county. Coffee with a Cop has one main goal, community outreach. Monroe County Sheriff Cecil Cantrell says it's a time that allows officers and deputies to be seen as regular people. A lot of times when you meet the police officers or sheriff's deputies or whatever, it's usually it's, it's something bad. We want to do something that has a good time when people are laughing and talking and having a good time and building strong relationships throughout the community and through our county. Director Sarah Nearin believes there's no better time for community outreach than now. She says there's a divide between police and people across the nation. I guess maybe when people know that you're doing community outreach, they kind of reach out to you. And so that's what I've been uh, blessed with to um, experience here doing coffee with a cop is that people do want to help and they just they just reach out. Sheila Higgins is one of those people. She's opening her restaurant's doors to help bring everyone under one roof. Maybe somehow down the line that personal experience with them might help you with what in the future holds for them because you don't ever know when we're going to get stopped or something happens in your family and everybody's so quick to blame the officers for you know for anything that goes wrong in their life they don't think about maybe what they have done you know to get them in that position. Naren says coffee with a cop and other community events during the year truly make a difference. We can't halfway do things and so I'm comparing ourselves even with with other communities I'm looking at things that they're doing and how we can implement what works what doesn't work and so what I'm seeing is our numbers when we have these kind of events are sometimes three and four times larger than other communities. At the end of the day, bonding, building, and bringing everyone together in a place they all call home is what it's all about. It's really hard to hate someone that you, you meet and then you become their friend. It's hard to talk bad about them then. It's just trying to drama-free environment. Higgins says the biscuit shop in Startful is donating biscuits to go along with the free coffee and donuts. Kicks off at 8 and lasts until 10 at Ch Jugtown Grill in downtown Aberdeen.